Okay. <laughs> we got the cedar. It's crazy windy. Like, I don't know if the camera, the mic is doing something there, but. Let me flip this around. I don't know. It never looks crazy on camera, but it is absolutely insane. We made it across and we had to pull on this island and stop. And uh, we're going to have to wait this out a bit because uh, we got to go that way and it's just, we won't even be able to paddle against that. It's insane. Update uh, coming soon, maybe. Holy! Okay. So we're just posted up here because it's not for the boots. Uh, just give you a little bit of Yes. <laughs> it's going to make for a late day, that's for sure, because we have a big day. And we're stuck in it. Like, it's died down. This is it died down. We might make a break for it. Like there's camp, there's two campsites. There's one on the end of that, on the other side of that point, and the other side of that point, and the portage is right on the other side of the second point. So dies down good enough like it's like right now like I, I want to go for it but then if it picks up again I don't want to get stuck out there but I guess we could just pop into one of those sites and debate it some more see what the wind does and do something <laughs> all right so we crash landed uh, we made it off the island though, and we tried to make it around the point, we couldn't, it was just insane, like especially, we didn't want to go out any further, because the white caps and the, the swells are insane, and then right at the, uh, on the shore here where we're going, shore along here, it's not so bad, but as soon as we came out to the point a little bit further down, it, the swells were crazy at the point, and literally just had to back our asses up so the uh we just <laughs> docked right here <laughs> we're having fun though <laughs> and uh we're just gonna walk over there's a campsite over there and uh we might uh just be staying here tonight okay well we made it to our our site we didn't make it to our site at all. This is where we crash landed, but we got to a site. But it is just ridiculous. Like, it's so annoying. Like the portage is just around those peaks. So, but hey, we're just happy. No one was on the spot. We were able to trek through the woods to get here. All right. Well, Um, we're staying here. <laughs> We've been here for like an hour now. Still these massive swells, white caps, like, you just can't, you can't leave. It's like the ocean here. It reminds me of sandbanks, like Lake Ontario. So anyways, we're gonna eat a bunch of steak and stay the night here. And get up at probably 5.30 in the morning, crack of dawn, and head out, because tomorrow's gonna be a massive, massive day. I think we're gonna make some coffee right now. All right, well, we're just making some coffee. We decided we're just gonna stay here tonight and then have a crazy day tomorrow. It's pretty much our only option. It's just so windy still. And Amanda has some of her leftover Tim's in their Contigo. So we're using the bottom of it as our cream and sugar.
Today's the day I give thanks for all the things in my life. Remembering the things that I'm I'm grateful for takes away my anger and my strife. Takes away my anger and my strife. So I wanna thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, I wanna thank you. I thank you, I thank you, mm, for my Today's the day I give thanks For all the people in my life Remembering the ones that I, I'm grateful for Takes away my anger and my strife Takes away my anger and my strength. Oh, windy as hell. Still really windy, but we're gonna get a fire going. Oh yeah. Okay. We got our steaks, a little grill we use. Oh, that one's a little crispy, it's okay. We don't have a plate, so we got the pan and we got the mashed potato bag. <laughs> Using it as a bottom just because we don't want to scratch the pan, you know what I'm saying? And there's our mashed potatoes. Oh man, this looks amazing! Woo!
would you say that I'm wasting time drawing pictures in the sky using the clouds as my own canvas in my mind I tend to do this all the time Waves come crashing down in my mind Bringing clusters of paradise My imagination roam free Purple skies and curiosity Close my eyes and wander off To a place where I can go get lost Somewhere far from this concrete jungle Time to find my serenity Alright, babe. Oh, you gotta hold this up. No. Damn. Okay. What did you forget? A knife?
I spilt that. Fresh. I just put uh, the micro grounds in, a little bit of milk powder, and a little bit of sugar. And then I just pour the hot water right over top. And of course, it's too hot to drink. It's going to be too hot to drink, too hot to drink, too hot to drink, then it's going to be cold. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's 8 30. It's a little bit later than we want it to be, but uh, we'll suck it up. We'll make up the time. Don't worry about that. I'm just packing up the last of our stuff. And, well, everything's packed up. We're just going to uh, smash some oatmeal real quick. We made our little electrolyte uh, tablet things. We've never tried these before, so we'll see how these are. Amanda has uh, strawberry lemonade. And I've got lemon lime. So, we'll see. And then we're going across. We're literally not going far at all. It's like there's a little tiny bend and the portage is right there. It's also where the highest falls in uh, Algonquin Park are. So, excited to show me to that. Okay, so we're trying a new kind of oatmeal. Kodiak Instant Oatmeal. What, what, why did we get this stuff? It's Oh, okay, it's like a protein oatmeal. And it probably doesn't have as much garbage as the other oatmeal does, but anyways, try it out, see how it is. Okay. Try this out. You wanna go burn those? Put it on top while What should I be putting in there? Let's start with a little, like that. Yeah, that looks. That's too much. Enough. Yeah. I put too much. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Oh, but don't put that much in mine, and then you could give me some. I think it will pick up though. Maybe we should catch the moon. Stir. I think those are big oats. They'll have to get cooked up. Okay. <laughs> well, I might have soupy. <laughs> soup. Oh, it tastes good. Soupy oatmeal. Yeah, it does. Good. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. All right. So, we're off. That was a slow start. We were a little slow start. We're leaving a little bit later than we wanted, but we don't care because the lake looks like this. Hey, oh my God, thank you. And uh, we have a massive, massive day, massive day. But uh, we're excited, excited to get out there. All right, first portage, Cedar Lake to Petawawa River. <laughs> We were supposed to be here yesterday at noon. <laughs> <laughs> it's now the next day. So less talking, more working. So here are the high falls. Of course, it never looks the same on camera, but it's phenomenal. And I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's extra high, extra rough this year. But I think I used to be able to step out onto a rock, like right here, and get further out, but this is nuts. Like, look at that right there. 
You don't want to get sucked down this in the canoe. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, we're at the uh, big portage for the day, 23.50 or something like that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love this route. This is all the Petawawa, Petawawa, Petawawa River. <laughs> Hi, babe. It's just a little paddle. The water's definitely a little high. It was definitely higher before. You could tell that it was all up over this a couple weeks ago, probably. But it's the big portage, and then uh, I think this narrow bag at the end of this. Narrow bag wraps. We're gonna have a little snack and then get her done. All right. So we did that long portage. I didn't record anything at when we got to the end of it. It was so cold at the end of that portage. I don't know if it was like a little lull that we were in. There's huge rapids there. And then it started raining and I was like in a t-shirt and went from being sweating and tired to absolutely frozen. Then we almost got like a chill. Then we had like a lull moment where we were debating what we were doing out here. <laughs> you know, the contemplating life. And then we're like, okay, let's go. And we're feeling great again. <laughs> so then we just had to do this little 170. And now we're in Narrow Bag. And we're going to take Narrow Bag all the way down that away to, there's, I think there's a little tiny, we're going to Catfish, but I think there's a little tiny 80 meter portage. And uh, like I'm just gassed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go all the way to where we're supposed to go. So I think we're just kind of making up. Making it up as we go, eh? <laughs> There's a gorgeous little lake. It's this narrow bag. And it's just beautiful. I was just telling the wife, I'd like to build my cabin on the top of that rock face right there, please. I'll maintain the trails. Just let me live there. Thank you. So, this is uh, a little tiny eater, eater, eater meter, 80 meter portage into uh, catfish. And uh, yeah, babe, this is what I was saying. You see along here? You see the logs that are underneath? Like, I don't know how they ended up doing that, but I'm going to watch something on that, read something on that. It's so cool, though. The log shoot. But yeah, this is just a tiny, tiny little portage. Well, we're going back. Just did a little double carry because it's so short. But it's beautiful. But it's cold. Like the temperature is dropping and we're pretty exhausted. I think we're just really exhausted because yesterday trying to cross Cedar, we just, we just burnt all of our energy and my shoulders really sore from it. Just paddling on the one side all the way across nonstop as hard as you can. It's pretty ridiculous. So I think we're just gonna uh, find a spot on catfish and stay there for tonight. Get warm, get dry, eat. I'm hungry. Oh. But I love it. <laughs> oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous.
Okay. Holy jumping. So, we made it to catfish, to the bottom of catfish. Uh, where we're supposed to stay was another three portages. And it's just not happening. We we're just wet, it's raining, it's cold. And my shoulder's just dying. I'm pretty sure we're just so beat because of yesterday's paddle across cedar. Like, that was just too much. We shouldn't have done that. But, uh... We did those three portages with Unicorn Hill. I hate, I hate Unicorn Hill. And then, um, we're, but we're staying on a wicked site right now. This is a wicked, perfectly set up site. Thank you to the person before us because they left wood. And when we got here, we were like chilled to the bone. And uh, so it was like super easy to get a fire started. And I appreciate that. So... Thank you. Now, we got everything set up, and now we're drinking bouillon. <laughs> we're drinking chicken, beef. Chicken. Oh my God, and it's so good, and it's so warming. And it's delicious. And we survived. <laughs> All right. So, put on a whole bunch of extra layers, <laughs> did everything that had to be done, drank that chicken bouillon, it was so delicious, that is just warm the soul, and we're like, screw it, we're going right into dinner, lasagna, this has got to be one of the best dehydrated meal ever, it's so good, so good. It's morning. What the hell is this? It snowed. It's freaking snow on the ground. Come on, man. <laughs> man, we have just had the craziest weather. All the weather that the weatherman told us was going to be this week was no, no, no. Liar. Liar. Ugh. Okay. It's nuts, man. It's so cold. Anyways, we got to get our day started, so uh, we're making coffee. Coffee. Dave, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> you got every single layer on? Every single layer. <laughs> so, this uh, pine bark has been a lifesaver for us. Like it's still really cold. We're just waiting for that sun to get up high, and but we just keep collecting all this pine bark. I don't know. If... Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, see that that naked tree right there is a big old pine that's dead and you can just pull all the big pieces of bark off and that's what that is Here, that's the underside let me show you that. see that's the top side no effort to collect it which is nice first thing in the morning especially beauty Okay, so we're still just sitting around the fire. <laughs> and uh, we're eating our oatmeal. That uh, protein oatmeal, the Kodiak one. Because it's just freaking cold and we do have a huge day tomorrow, but, or I mean today, but I just don't even care. See here by the fire. Mm. All right. Okay. I actually wanted this this morning. Mm -hmm. I feel like yesterday I didn't really want it, so I had to like force it down. Mm -hmm. Which is never enjoyable. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's 
barely warm, but it's steaming. I just tried them. Like, it hasn't even warmed up enough to melt the snow. On the ground. That stayed on the ground. Mm-hmm. Like, that's really cold, man. So, we're going to continue to do this. And then eventually we're going to start packing up. We've just literally had the craziest weather. Like, we've only been here for two days, but it feels like we've been here for five. Like, there's so many ups and downs, and the weather's just been nuts. After day one, because of that huge paddle, that insane paddle across Cedar... It was like paddling as hard as you can on one side for an hour straight. Oh, we were just like, that was the equivalent to paddling a whole week out here. Like, it was just insane. So, so then yesterday was a struggle because I was just so sore. My shoulders were just killing me. So, I feel really good this morning, though. Like, my shoulders feel great. Okay. Good. Um, I mean, we've eaten a couple days of food. So your bag will be a little bit lighter, which is good. Mm-hmm. And we do have a huge day today. Like we're supposed to, we're not even supposed to be here. This is where we're supposed to be last night. And tonight we're supposed to be in Phillip Lake for our two-nighter. And right now we're in Catfish. And we're supposed to stay in Parks Bay. Now, luckily, I mean, it's not a huge uh, deal. It's just, you know, just six portages. It's a lot of portages. Um, but I think we'll be able to do it today. Like, just give it everything we got till we get there. And then we're there for two nights, so we can, we'll have a huge rest day, which we're going to need after these, these Pretty days nice. have just been insane. We made good ground yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we did. We made good ground we'll yesterday. But it was just so damp and cold, cold. And it was that weird, like, this weird wind this arctic wind coming off like the rapids it was just crazy so we're starting our pack up uh slowly <laughs> but surely uh amanda's in getting changed uh, getting to the daytime stuff i'm just he- trying to heat up my shoes and take any dampness out of there left over from yesterday like my my feet got a blue they're Gore-Tex shoes so but there are still a few little padded spots where it does soak up water okay this is our dwindling fire of the morning we're all packed up ready to go it's uh, not too bad out there, but there's definitely like wind gusts. Like right now, this is this is calm. Uh, here you can still see the snow left behind, so this is where the back of the tarp was, and <laughs> you can kind of see the outline of the of the tent. Some of it's melted, the spot where sun hit, so that's good, I guess. <coughs> but the fact that it's not warm enough that it's not melting right there. It's still pretty cold, so. But anyways, big day today. Heading across Catfish, over to some portages. We get to go through this cool little marsh. That should be cool. Maybe we'll see a moose or something. But uh, at least it's sunny. I will take that. It's freezing, but it's sunny. And this is why you should always carry zip ties good for so many things so my yoke pad ripped off right here and uh the zip tied it on and i smell it mint
So, I do believe this is where uh, Sunfish Lake starts. So we came from back there, and uh, this little island, and then you go into this little narrows part. It's just gorgeous. Like I just, I love it in here. But now we're heading into this little marsh area, which is called Sunfish Lake. I didn't even know it had a name, but. And we're heading over to uh, basically a series of three portages through Newt Lake and M M Manta. Yeah, Manta. Just beautiful though. Winds at our backs last side as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we're not cold. Yay! <laughs> Say hi, babe. <laughs> Beauty. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. so grand so that was sunfish just beautiful just beautiful we got the portage here 1105 signed 1105 I think it actually is 1105 too uh, and this is going into Newt man it's having a little snack take my jacket off and we're gonna send it beautiful beautiful portage absolutely gorgeous this is the end of that uh, portage it was a pretty rough portage a lot of elevation um, and you just zigzag up the hill for the first half of it and you just pooped after but but look at that well worth it I don't know if you can see him. I'm gonna try to get the top. There, you see him? There he is. I wonder if my camera's picking that up. Must be, right? Is he gonna move? You have to look that up. That's sweet. Just finished another portage. This is the 715 to Manta. Just gorgeous. Love these little lakes. This is my favorite part.
so we just uh, did the big portage into uh, Hogan um, it's crazy because that portage seemed way better than like the 750 we did earlier and it was just this was just a nice big open trail I've come to realize it's not the length of the portage it's the terrain of the portage oh, it is beautiful we're making good progress we're making good time and uh, we're gonna end up making it to where we're supposed to be for our two nights <laughs> Woo! Uh, voice crack well we have made it to the Madawaska so this is Madawaska River we just did a little portage to get into there from uh, Parks Bay part of Hogan's Lake and we started off with this nice little this nice little dam I think this is actually a fabricated dam. I'll have to double check that, but by the looks of all the, the rocks on the left hand side. Beautiful. And we're headed this way. Yeah, we probably should be going left. Doesn't really matter, like the water's so high, babe. Actually, no, we can go straight through here. Oh, man. So, we're doing it. We're making it to where we're supposed to do it. I'm getting tired. We're going to make it to where we're supposed to be tonight for our two-nighter. Yeah, my battery's running low. Talk to you soon. Super cool. We just came through that. Madawaska River comes down here. I'm pretty sure... Um, we could have uh, just rode these rapids, but I'm also not a hundred percent sure. And the wife's with me, so I'm just not going to risk it and send it. Um, but I think it's just a little tiny rapids. I think it's just probably in low water; you can't pass them. Really cool, though. This is just a 110 meter uh, portage. Awesome bunch of little waterfalls and rapids here coming up at the end of the portage. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. We made it. This was the biggest day ever. I am so proud of my wife. I cannot believe she's able to do this. I can't believe we were able to do this. This is a big day, man. And, uh, we just got, we just got, the first two days, we just got beaten up. Beaten up real bad. Trying to cross Cedar. And just freezing, raining, damp, cold. Then we woke up this morning to snow. Like, holy crap. Anyways, we made it. We just finished the last portage. We were going in right there. Into the Madawaska. And into uh, uh, Phillip Lake. And then we're gonna relax. So peaceful. After that hard day, we're just gliding down the Madawaska into our lake. Just beautiful. All right, so we're here for the sunset, fire, we're making dinner. Babe, what are you having today? Popcorn. Chicken popcorn. Oh man, that, that looks really good. 
And I'm having a hearty beef stew. Oh, we worked so hard to get here. We just did two days. What was supposed to take us two days, we just did in one. And we were up at seven, and what time do we get here at? <laughs> it's 8.08. So we've probably been here for half hour, 40 minutes. So that was, <laughs> that was a big day. But now it's perfect. Oh, all right. So it's rest day. We uh, slept in this morning till like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Stayed up uh, by the fire for a bit last night. Looked at the stars, just enjoyed the fire, relaxed. After that day, big day, epic day. It is so good, babe. It's so good. Uh, but uh, it's pretty nice today. It was actually really windy this morning. So uh, I like set up <laughs> this wind wall. And we've got all of our stuff here. I built a little secondary fire pit. Now, most people should probably just not do something like this. 
Okay, like you, if you're gonna do something like this, you gotta do it properly. There's like a huge stone underneath. Like you see what's around here? You, you don't wanna have a fire here. So giant stone underneath, all wrapped with stones and I'm just burning twigs. That's just a twig fire. <clears throat> That's my public service announcement so I don't get in trouble or people don't cry about it. But uh, the site is beautiful goes all the way up there there's so much dead wood like it's so easy to get wood for fire it's oh it's just a beautiful day we got our tent there got the fireplace down there and we just kind of have this middle level there's tons of spots to put tents but it is windy now that wind's starting to pick up again it's just really cold coming off the water but uh right now we're about to make bacon and eggs Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. So happy. Okay. Here's our bacon. This is just the ready crisp bacon. This is the best to bring out here. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. Okay, so we got our eggs. Put uh we got the little spice rack, eh? So we put uh, garlic, salt, and pepper in there. And then the bacon is inside the pot, just sitting by this little tiny fire, just, just to keep warm, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is gonna be delicious. All right, here's our bacon and eggs. So what we did here, well, we've already eaten some of the bacon, but we took out the big strands and we broke up all the little crispy pieces, crunched them up in the corner of the pan, then we poured them on top of our eggs. Oh, oh man, epic. gonna boil water to uh, clean the dishes and I am gonna set up our hammock we just picked this up this winter and obviously the trip has been crazy so we haven't even looked at it but today is the day and what a sight to do it at so I'm gonna do it uh, that tree to this one here and I'll be looking out that way. <laughs> Amazing.
never set one of these up before. And uh, <laughs> it was super easy and this thing's amazing. <laughs> Let me show you the view from inside. From inside, it's like this. Oh. What a view indeed. Baby, if you don't come get me out of this hammock, I'm taking a snooze. <laughs> oh my God. So here we are, just sitting in a hammock on the top of a big hill, surrounded by huge pines, looking out over our own personal lake. Did I mention we were in a hammock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yes, we have matching sweaters. <laughs>
All right. So for dinner tonight, we got uh, cheese pies. You don't know what cheese pies are. It's like a Lebanese bread with cheese. That's it. It's so basic. It's so delicious. You wouldn't even believe it. Anyway, so you just fold it in half and then rip the half in half and put it in the pan. And just heating it up, kind of creating like a little oven. And we'll see how this goes. So, this is our cheese pie. It's delicious. I do wish I had some garlic sauce. <laughs> so hazy like there's no blue sky anywhere it's so strange <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Okay, this is a chocolate mudslide. <laughs> uh, it's a fancy name for chocolate pudding with this crumble on top and it's delicious <laughs> so it's getting late just sit by the fire gonna eat this then we're gonna get into bed perfect day babe should pick that up. All right, morning after rest day. We're all packed up. And it's just packing the last of a few things. She got her snacks ready and everything for the day. And uh, we made the eggs, we just fried them. Perfect, so much easier to so just 
fry them. I think I already came to this conclusion before too, but uh, whatever. Fry them on low heat and then you don't get a mess. It's a beautiful day. A little chilly this morning, but obviously it's going to be chilly in the morning. It's a lot like glass out there. So the last thing to do is switch out the Crocs for the shoes. And get out there. This is going to be an epic day. So we're in Philip right now, coming out of our two-nighter. So our rest day, which was well needed after the insane voyage we had. The first two days was just ridiculous. And uh, so we're leaving uh, Philip Lake. We're going down into the Madawaska River. Uh, there's like a massive portage to do. Uh, but I'm hoping it's going to be flat or indoor downhill. It's like going a, going along uh, the river and we're going with the river today. So shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but this Madawaska River should be amazing. It's just uh, winding all the way, all the way down for a while. Probably going to. Probably going to be on that for two hours. I'm excited about that. That's going to be beautiful. Look at all the pollen. I know. My shoes were green yesterday. Greenish yellow. It almost looked like I cut the grass. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got black five fucking buds on my face. <laughs> okay. All right. We're on the move. <laughs> it's beauty. Yeah. So that was the just the introduction to the Madawaska. So we're at the portage now. 
thousand meter, just over a thousand meter. There's actually a little campsite here, right at the portage. I mean, these are never great sites, but I imagine the fishing is really good. Especially if you just walk in there a little bit and try and cast into that. Where is it? That little deep pool right there. That one gust of wind, there goes the majority of them. Uh -huh. All right, let's get, let's get a proper movement going here. Rapids go down. Oh, rapid Give her a a boost, this is your first rapids? Babe, is this your first rapids ever? This is my first rapids. Hey! <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. That's that's where you start, right awesome. there. Hey, not so bad, huh? Yeah. Now the ones I was looking at. Not much bigger, same sort of thing.
up to this little puddle of a fallen tree. <laughs> cool. Oh, we were lucky. Otherwise, we had to climb over that, baby. <laughs> We're gonna go right through those rapids. Yeah, right through the main part. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge log. <laughs> so, this is the huge portage, 3500 from uh, the Madawaska to Radiant. But just, this is obviously the reason for the portage. This little spot you can come down in here. See this. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Gee. Wow. Look at that. Just beautiful. And we're just around this bend here. Oh. It's called fire. ago I felt so alive without a care in the world and I got burned and I put out the fire this lesson I learned the fire provides you with a 
light and heat If I can bring you down to your knees And fire brings love And fire brings pain And don't you ever put out the flame And you need fire to live Something special about a burning flame. And once you feel it, you're never the same. And fire can kill you or bring new life. But the fire keeps your dreams alive. And you need fire to live and learn. Just let the fire Oh, let it burn Just let the fire burn Back when time was on our side We worked so hard to make our dreams Come true With the music in our hearts Before we became as one As the night came down around us We came alive The roads were long, the nights were loud Without sleep With our heads held high We ran wild in the streets This life's behind us now But we will not So, we made it to the end of that portage. It was brutal. It was super long. And uh, it's too nice out today because the bugs are out now. But uh, we made it. It was a struggle. I'm hurting. But uh, we're here. This is the end of the uh, river and into Radiant. And uh, we camp on Radiant. And the campsite's really close. So, hopefully, Radiant's looking nice today. We'll see in a little bit. Hopefully we get a breeze so that the black flags go away. Okay, yeah, bye. Yeah. So you can go as far as you can. Go. Nice job. Oh, shit. Oh. That was a tough uh, put in. Put in. I'm just getting east. Oh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. So is there an opening on the on the right there? Yeah, but yeah, just barely. Okay, paddle left side.
I know, I just don't want to get hooked on this thing. Paddle right side. Good job. Nice. That was, uh... Well, we made it to our site. We're actually like in the uh, narrow part that uh, leads to the portages. So out there at the mouth, that's radiant. And then we're gonna head up this way uh, to the couple portages into Cedar tomorrow. Uh, we were getting worried because both the <laughs> campsites we passed were taken but we got this one yay and Amanda washed her hair and she's so happy I did. <laughs> amazing. okay so you're looking at the site this is it there's our staff look at the pile of gear tent set up black flies are terrible um but it's super, super small site. I think this uh, was actually flooded all the way. See that pile of debris over there? That was like in a big line. Amanda pushed it all to the side. But that was like the debris line. So this is all flooded. The fire pit was destroyed. Everything like that. So clean everything up. Oh, give me some of that smoke. I'm trying to sit inside the smoke so the black flies don't get us. But we're going to make some food. Hungry. So this is what we had for dinner, spicy sausage and pasta. We both had that. Had it before, it's amazing. Set up. I got uh, a little tarp set up because it started to drizzle a little bit. We got a little tiny fire going. And we're just gonna relax tonight. Probably go to bed early. <laughs> it was an amazing day though. Amazing day. That, uh, that river run was perfect. I'll sit by a fire for a bit. Probably smoke a bit of the devil's lettuce. All right, hit the hay. Straight doo doo. Got a little makeshift fire. We're boiling some water. We're gonna eat some oatmeal. We're just hiding out underneath the tarp. It rained all night. It's been raining all morning. Everything's soaked. So we're not gonna film much and uh, probably pack up and just send it. Beautiful set of rapids. Our portage is just to the right. But it's just like this giant mouth just opens up. Oh my god, it's incredible. All right, this is it. It's just been raining all day, but we did it, we made it. We're at the top, back at Cedar. 
the oh, the falls, the rapids, everything is beautiful. This this place is majestic. <laughs> but we friggin' made it. Here we are. Hey. Probably got a bunch of yeah. Probably got a bunch of beef jerky in my teeth. I don't care. I'm so happy. So proud. This is our last night. We're staying on Cedar. We're doing nothing. All the batteries are dead. All the charging packs are dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Oh, great trip though, great trip. Okay, we're at our last site. We're at our last site. This is the end. I haven't filmed anything, it's just been raining. And it's, we're on like a pretty crappy site as far as sites go. We got water on that side, water on this side. If it was summer this would be the most epic site ever yeah because it's like a uh, hundred foot sand beach like yeah. it's just it's phenomenal and there's just zero firewood you can tell that people camp here all the time there's not anything like we're burning a little few pieces of driftwood but we were able to get all of our stuff off and get dry and now we're just huddled up underneath the tarp here see all along there is just beautiful sand beach like it's like it'd be amazing if it was nice weather but it's just shit weather so we're just gonna pound back food and then probably just go hide in the tent <laughs> and this is our poor excuse for a fire but it's something so last night we're in the tent Stop raining for the moment. You hear the waves hitting the beach. Epic trip though, eh, babe? 